Hey guys, Shane here with One Shift of Time. How are you doing? We're back doing another NFL Power Rankings. We're into week 15 of the Power Rankings for the season. Things are starting to settle down. We're starting to see who the playoff teams are, who the out of the playoff teams, and there's definitely some bubble teams. So let's jump right into it. We got number 10, we got the Washington Commanders. They're 7, 5, and 1. Third in the NFC East, and they are fresh off of a bye week. Uh, every team that I had ahead of them, uh, they lost this week, so they got to cling on to their spot even though they were on that bye week. Uh, they won in the three in a row, um, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, before they did have that tying game against the New York Giants, uh, they do take on the San Francisco 49ers on Saturday, so that's going to be a big test for them as the uh, 49ers are rolling right now. Number nine, we got the LA Chargers. They're seven and six, they're second in the AFC West. And this is a very tough team to gauge. I mean, what week is it? Uh, sometimes they're playing really good, sometimes not so good. They had a huge win this week over the Miami Dolphins. That got them back into this list. Uh, they look to keep rolling versus the Titans on Sunday. Number eight, we got the Baltimore Ravens. They're nine and four, first in the AFC North. They're up two spots. They're winners of two straight, uh, but scoring only 24 points over those last two games. Uh, that's not going to cut it. Uh, Lamar Jackson, of course, uh, is injured. Now it looks like Tyler Huntley might also be injured. I think they're on the backup four there now, uh, getting crazy. They're going to have to get things together and figure it out for the Cleveland Browns who come to town on Saturday. Yes, Saturday hot uh, football this week. How lucky are we? Number seven, we got the Minnesota Vikings. They're 10-3. and three. They're first in the NFC North, and NFC North, and they're down three spots. Uh, that loss to the Detroit Lions... Uh, they had the Lions almost snuck in there on that number 10 spot too. Uh, that's, it was just absolutely crazy. So uh, the, the offense has been fine enough, but uh, the D just can't stop anything. Uh, they need to be better versus the Colts on a Saturday morning. Number six, we got the Kansas City Chiefs. They're also 10 and three, first in the AFC West, uh, but they are winning. <laughs> uh, though clearly they expected to win a lot easier against the Broncos. I mean, uh, especially after the first half, I thought they were gonna absolutely run away with it. Uh, if not for that Russell Wilson injury, um, he might have led the comeback. It could have been his first good game of the season. And then of course he goes down with the concussion. Uh, but they are going to take on the, the Texans here on Sunday morning. So I think Kansas City is going to bounce right back. Number five, we had the Cincinnati Bengals. They're nine and four, second in the AFC North. Winners of five in a row, including the Chiefs last week. So uh, they beat the Browns 10, uh, 23 to 10 this week in the Battle of Ohio. And they're going to take on the reeling Bucks on Sunday. Oh man, the Bucks got absolutely rolled by the 49ers. Speaking of them, number four we do have the San Francisco 49ers. They're nine and four, first in the NFC West, and they're winners of six in a row, including that absolute romp of the Bucks, uh, 35 to seven, as we said. And, and that was with taking their foot off the gas. They could have gone for more. Uh, they're going to take on their divisional rivals in the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday. And Brock Purdy's looking good. A Debo Samuels injury, though, that is definitely concerning. It does sound like he should be back for the playoffs, though. So, Number three, we have the Dallas Cowboys. They're 10-3, and three, and they are winners of four in a row. Definitely not as uh, dominant a performance as uh, we were expecting against the Texans last week. That is state rivals, though. So sometimes state rivals can get up for the game, but Dak Prescott definitely did not look as good as he has uh, in that game. So uh, we're going to uh, hope that they bounce right back as they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars on Saturday. And the Jags are also playing some damn good football, so that could be a great game. Number two, we got the Buffalo Bills. They're 10 and 3, first in the AFC. And they got to play in a lovely game. It was snowy, rainy, it was just crazy. I love those kind of games though, as I have mentioned before. They have four straight wins. Uh, their only loss, of course, came into the Eagles. Uh, and they're just waiting for the Eagles to flinch. Uh, they, they want to take that top spot. The offense is just not clicking lately though. They've only been averaging 24 or 25 points a game over the last three games. And they're gonna have to have a tough game against the Miami Dolphins coming up on Saturday. And number one, yes, it's the Philadelphia Eagles. They're 12 and one. Uh, first in the NFC East, they got four wins in a row, and they've scored 116 points in the last three games. That's how you get it done. That is a huge amount of points over three games. Uh, and that's why I think a lot of people maybe are underestimating them. I think everything's coming together uh, through Jalen Hurts, through their O, through their defense. They're gonna take on the Bears on Sunday. Uh, 
It's just crazy. As I said, Jalen Hurts, he threw another two touchdowns, ran in for one as well. He's just on fire. Let me know, of course, in the comments below what your top five is. Uh, like this video, share it around. Uh, give us a subscribe if you're not already as we close in on 150. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.